Yeah, um, thanks, Siggy. Um, I was, I loved the, um, the the paper roll. I'm with you on that one, by the way. And there's so <laughs> I could see that. I'm thinking about the eight step mission plan process, and I can see the saw working really well um, with the in the church review phase, the sort of step mm. three. But I know that you're passionate about um, about appreciative inquiry being used with the whole community as well. So thinking step yeah. two, community audit. Could you say a bit more about that? Oh, the community audit. Um, yes. Now, this, it, I, I did it recently with a church before, um, way, way before, way before um, COVID. Um, what we did, we, we had a project group. They agreed that there would be half a dozen people and they were the ones who went out and had conversations. So they agreed, okay, I'll be the one who goes and talks to the mums and dads at the toddler group. This other person went to talk to the scouts and brownies. Somebody else went to talk to the homeless people who, who came in for the cafe. And that's how they did their community audit. So they used the questions, the half a dozen questions, and used that to capture what people felt was important and what they wanted. And there were some real surprises because what the church wanted to do was set up a film club. But nobody in the community audit wanted a film club. So they didn't do it. Um, if they hadn't done the audit, using those six questions they wouldn't have found that out and they've tried a film club and it would have flopped but what people did find uh what they did want out of their church was the companionship and the this was people not in the congregation people coming into the church who weren't congregation wanted the companionship and the togetherness and the support that church people and others other users offered so that was what the church built on and that came out of the community audit. So while they weren't going outside of the church, they were, you, they were speaking to lots of people who came in. And you could still use this similar questions. You could couch your own questions if you wanted to go out into the community and ask local businesses, what, well, okay, what can our church offer you? Um, does our church offer you anything at all right now? And if it doesn't, what can we? So you can, you can still do, use the same principle. You just couch you know come up with a different set of questions but the principle remains the same 